if you're like most coaches and consultants, you're not being anywhere near specific enough in your message. What you do, who you help, and why they should hire you instead of anyone else. The key to communicating all of this to your perfect people is being specific. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Hi there, I'm Wendy White, biz dev strategist for extraordinary entrepreneurs. Welcome to my channel, I'm so glad you found me. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay for a while. Now, on to today's video, why specificity is key to being hired. This comes from the Departure Lounge, my Facebook group. Let's dive in. If you want a total stranger or an almost stranger, which is what you're dealing with when you're talking about people online, you want them to very quickly recognize that you are the person that they are looking for and to trust you and to open up to you and yes, to give you large sums of money, you need to really, really connect with her, right? How do you do this? How do you really, really connect with a person who you have never met? You show her that even though she does not know you yet, you really, really, really know her. And you do that by entering the conversation that is going on in her head. The conversation about her circumstances and about her struggles and about her thoughts and about her dreams and her secret fears and her secret hopes, all of that really juicy emotional stuff that's going on for her, you need to tap into that so she goes, oh my God, she gets me. But here's the thing with this. Different heads are having really different conversations. We've got a lot of relationship coaches in here, okay? And you know, a 20-year-old working on the issue of finding love, finding that perfect relationship, what's going on for them in their head, in their heart, everything about that is completely different than what's going on for a 50-year-old in that same situation. They have different circumstances. They're trying to find love in different ways. They're scared of different things. Love means different things at different ages. There are just such different things going on for them that to try to create that message is going to specifically reach that 20-year-old and specifically reach that 50-year-old in the same sentence, in that same thought, ugh, it's just going to fail. And the only way you can do it is to pull back and be way, way general and way generic. And so you're not really speaking to either one of them. And it's not just about age. It's about circumstances. A divorced person looking for love versus a longtime single person looking for love. Again, what's going on in their heads? All of that stuff. It's super different, isn't it? You know, the divorced person's got a lot of probably thoughts about, oh, you know, that's a warning sign. I already dealt with that. I don't want to deal with that again. They've got all these fears. A longtime single person may be thinking, gosh, you know, I'm not really sure if anyone's ever going to love me. I've never been in a relationship or I haven't been in for so long. All of those fears, all of those issues and all of those hopes that are attached to that, they're all really, really different. And so if you're going, okay, great, I want to talk to all these different people, and make a really specific message, but it's really hard. <laughs> this is why it's really hard. Because sometimes when something is really hard, it's because you can't do it. It's the wrong thing to do. Stop trying to do it. Get more specific. You need to choose who, exactly who you want to speak to. You need to be focusing and speaking to the head and the heart of one person. Now I can hear the cries of dismay. <laughs> You're probably going, no, no, I don't want to do that. You don't understand. I'm really good at what I do. I'm really talented. I can help lots of different people in lots of different circumstances, or I can help a number of different people with different things. And I am not arguing with you. I am not saying you are not that talented. This is not about what you're capable of doing. This is about your message. And this is about connecting with people online. When you can get in her head, and explain what is going on for her, maybe even better than she can articulate it for herself, she's gonna really understand that you can help her. Does that make sense? Failure to do this is a big reason why coaches are struggling to reach their ideal clients. When you are the everything to everybody, you don't really become the go-to person for anybody. Um, no one's really going to see you as that perfect solution. That's what we want. We want your ideal people to be able to go, oh my God, She's exactly what I'm looking for. Being specific is crucial to your message, but it's not just about your message. It's beneficial so many other places. This kind of focusing allows you to really master your craft. The more you are working with the same people on the same kind of issues, the better you're gonna get at it. You're gonna become a bona fide expert. And you know what that's gonna do? That's gonna increase your confidence. And that is good for everything, including selling. It's also gonna make 
it a lot easier for you to come up with services and programs because if you're constantly in working on the same issues with the same people, it's going to be really, really clear what they need, what they're asking for, what they're not getting from other people. So creating stuff isn't going to be like, oh my God, what do I create? It's going to be hitting you in the face all of the time. That's what they need. It's also going to make your content creation a hell of a lot easier because you're going to be able to repurpose and repeat the same stuff because you're focusing in the same area. This is also gonna allow you to really get known for something. And as a result of all of these things, your sales are going to get easier. And sales getting easier means you can raise your rates, right? Money is good. So again, this is not about limiting you. If you're thinking, but I don't wanna pick because I don't want to get you know, into a box and I'm not gonna be able to get out of, this is not forever, nothing in your business is forever. This is not trying to limit you. This is trying to empower you to get the right kind of traction and enough. You can expand once you're getting that traction. You can, you can continue to build on that. But this is where you are right now, okay? And the good news is this is super, super fixable. This is not that hard. You need to get specific about your client description, who she is exactly, and her circumstances, what she is trying to do. You know, maybe she's a stay-at-home mom and she's trying to, I don't know, re-enter the workforce. Or maybe she's trying to reignite her relationship with her husband after years of raising kids. You know, what, is, what are her circumstances? What is she trying to do? Maybe what she's failing to do. So get really, really specific about that. Get really, really specific about the problem you're solving for her. This means you need to be specific about what she is struggling with right now. That stay-at-home mom that's trying to reignite that relationship with her husband, what is she struggling with right now? What does it look like? Every time I try to have a conversation with him, he goes, we can't talk about anything. Every time I try to initiate some new romantic adventure, he's like, we don't have time for this. We can't spend money on this. That kind of specificity, okay? What is she actually struggling with? And then what does she want? What can her world and her life look like with your help? You know, when she gets those results and gets those benefits from your work, maybe what it, what it looks like is confidence in a loving relationship with that husband, you know, reconnecting in a way that maybe they didn't even before the kids, maybe it's better than when they first got married and the kids showed up. I have no kids. I'm probably being really mean to kids and what they do on marriage or maybe not, but that's what you want to be talking about. So the client description, where she is right now and where she wants to go. You need to be really, really specific about all of that stuff. So your takeaways for this, take a look at your message right now and ask yourself where you can be more specific. And as always, if you'd like my help with this, this is what I help people do. A good way to start is the flight plan. It's a 60 minute one-on-one -on -one call for you to learn exactly what you need to be doing to connect with and convert more of those ideal clients. And yes, we are gonna be getting much, much more specific in the areas of ideal clients and the problem they solve and your messaging, all the hits. You're gonna walk away knowing the exact right flight plan you need to be taking so your business really takes off. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button below and share it with your friends. And subscribe because I'm going to be sharing tips and strategies like this every single week and you don't want to miss out. In fact, make sure to hit that bell so you get notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, go be extraordinary.